hey guys it's so nice to have you back in my channel today we are gonna do a tutorial i just came back from work and i just feel like playing in makeup it's that simple i just feel like playing in makeup so if you want to see what i come up with because i'm not even sure just keep on watching <laughs> Okay, let's just get started so i have on the estee lauder double wear um, foundation i got in my sephora um, subscription box you can see it's not a bad color but trust me it is not full coverage i couldn't build it up to a full coverage i just couldn't build it because it says stay in place makeup double wear so it's not the foundation for me because it's not full coverage but it's a nice color trust me i had to add my nice foundation to get it this full coverage this is not just the foundation alone let's just go straight to the eyes before i do my eyebrows and anything else and i'm gonna do use my p louise base the, the first one that first came out and i'm gonna take this all the way up to my eyebrows because I'm going to put eyeshadow under my eyebrows anyways because I really want this eyeshadow to be really blown out so I'm going to pretty much use this colors on the top so I'm going to start with a very you know nice um, how do you describe this color I know orangey reddish tone and I'm really packing my brush and so I can get the most um, um, color that I want so a good thing you're doing I'm doing my eyes first so that any fallout I can just clean up later so I'm really packing this on yellowish beige color just to help blend the top of the shade oh kind of look ashy on me right but I already started so I'll just keep on going and when you're blending the edges out sometimes it's nice to use another color that is like lighter just to have a nice gradient you know isn't the darker purple right here just to deepen it the crease area so I'm gonna do that in the inner and outer area now I'm gonna go right up on top of like to connect those two I love this color right here that's a beautiful color and it's called navy so I'm just gonna even deepen it even deeper So when you pretty much got a black eye <laughs> it's time to cut cut cut
So using the Natasha Denona palette, this color is speaking to me. I love this color right here. Into the center. Ooh, ooh. So yummy. I'm gonna leave this top and use a, a different color. Nice old gold kind of shade. I'm just gonna put it right on the top. Liberace or Liberace. But that's the name right here. That's the gold. So I'm gonna put it where I pull that gold line. It says lemon hair. And it's called Private School. How beautiful. So I'm just gonna pack it over here. I love this because you don't need any glue. And I've had it for years and it's still not dried out. So I'm gonna pack it to the bottom, but in between, just tap it to help mix it with the gold. Birthday. Um, glitter and see how that looks. I'm gonna put this maybe like on the edge just to have like a mixture of different kind of glitters going on. I'm just gonna put this at the side. Am I making it worse? I don't know. Now it's just so much glitter on my eyes. It's ridiculous. Okay guys, so I'm back. Got my rest of my face done. Got my lips done, got my brows done, and I actually just added more glitter. So I added more of the gold, more of the glitter blue, and more of the pink towards the edges. So you can see it's like more vibrant now. So it's looking so much better. So I'm gonna do the bottom of my eyes, and I know I look like a drag queen, but it's okay because this is a dramatic look. So I'm gonna go with my P. Louise base and just blend it under because I'm gonna put a bright lime green. So you can see, I'm just putting base under. This is the palette, there's a color right here. It's called Acid Berry. So I'm gonna really pack this in. Mm. Mm. It's not as vibrant as I want, so I'm gonna use a white base underneath instead of the P. Lewis base. I'm gonna use my flash palette and just use that green right here to to pull the more of the green out. Okay. I'm gonna use a dark green 
to deepen in closer to my lash line and I'm using this color called squad from colored vein I just want to closer to my lash line like right on the lash line Put a lot of mascara at the bottom. Get the most biggest lashes you have, but like very spiky. And I'm using this one so I got from Ali. Very pretty. And you're gonna pop that. Ooh, I love it. what do you guys think okay guys so i'm back with my hair on and this is the finished look i know it's it's there it's crazy but <clears throat> i hope you liked it enjoyed it we'll try it so let, let me just give you a look Okay guys so thank you so much for watching i enjoyed it hope you did don't forget to subscribe to like comment and always remember jesus loves you and i love you and i'll see you on my next video